me what my secret is I just smile and say follow me
Let me get the mic right. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the most exciting day of the year for California Southern University, graduation. You did it. You are here. I am Dr. Mukul Bhalla, the Vice Provost for California Southern University, and it is my honor to welcome you to the 2023 commencement ceremony. To get us started, I would like to welcome the Blue Eagles Honor Guard who will deliver the presentation of colors. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise as you are able. Thank you, Blue Eagles Honor Guard. Will everyone please be seated? At this time, it is my pleasure to introduce our University System President, Mr. John Klein, to the podium. Well, good morning. I guess I'll do it like this. Um, my name is John Klein. I am the president of the American Intercontinental University System and very, very excited to be here uh, this morning and celebrate this group of graduates. Um, I have some prepared remarks, but I'm going to go off that script for a second because you're all in the goosebump business. Every time I see one of these videos, and I've been doing online education before Al Gore invented the internet. But 25 years of those videos still give me goosebumps. And so thank you for that experience for me today. I'm so proud to be here and just so appreciative of my small part in, in your academic success. So thank you very much. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, distinguished faculty members, proud families, and of course, the incredible graduating class of 2023. It's a great honor to be here this morning as we celebrate this momentous occasion. A lot of hard work, dedication and determination and countless late nights. Together we have arrived at this destination you set out for 
and it fills my heart today to be a part of it. When you first joined our university system, you brought your diversity of knowledge, experience, and we became a much stronger institution because of that. You were also like seeds planted in the fertile soil of knowledge, nurtured by the guidance of our faculty and the support of our staff, and most importantly, your loved ones. Today, as you stand tall, you have blossomed into the leaders and change makers you aspire to be. Your journey through Cal Southern has been a transformative one, not just in terms of academic growth, but also for you as individuals. You have challenged yourselves, pushed your limits, and discovered hidden resources of strength and resilience. You have stumbled and fallen, but you have also learned the invaluable lesson of perseverance. You have overcome obstacles, and through it all, you have emerged stronger, wiser, and more determined than ever. I'm so proud to celebrate with you and welcome all of you here today. Congratulations, Class 2023. At this time, I would like to introduce you to University Vice President Dr. Clinton Gardner to the podium. Dr. Gardner. Thank you, President Klein. Uh, good morning again to all of our guests, friends, family members, faculty, staff, and most importantly, good morning to all of the graduates of California Southern University. As we celebrate the accomplishments of our graduates, our California Southern community is excited to have each of you participate in this important event. Before we move further into our ceremony and celebrate the accomplishments of our graduates, I want to thank our faculty and employees for their resiliency, dedication to service, and their commitment to remain focused in delivering a high quality educational experience to our graduates. With, while some of our graduates are not able to attend today's celebration, I'm pleased to announce that we have over 170 graduates participating in today's commencement ceremony. And just as important, we welcome these graduates to today's cer ceremony from 35 different US states and over 20 other countries around the world. While it is important to celebrate the hard work, dedication, and perseverance of our graduates, we would be remiss if we did not acknowledge the support provided by two very special groups of individuals. The first group of people we recognize are friends of our graduates. We are grateful for your steadfast support and the assistance you have provided to our graduates. And we know that today is also a very important day for each of you. The second group we want to acknowledge and recognize includes parents, spouses, partners, siblings, and relatives of our graduates. Without question, you have been an important anchor of support to our graduates. You have always been there and available during both the good times and the bad times. The success of our graduates is in large part due to your continuous love and support. We recognize all that you have done and all that you will continue to do in the lives of our future alumni. And today, we applaud you for your unwavering support, and we say thank you. <laughs> to the graduating class, through your educational experiences at Cal Southern, you have acquired the knowledge and skills needed to make a positive difference in your profession and in our global society. Nelson Mandela once stated that education is the most powerful weapon which you can use to change the world. As you leave Cal Southern, we know that you are well prepared to place your mark on an ever-changing global society. Today, the Cal Southern community looks forward to watching you achieve your future goals 
as you establish your mark in helping to shape a better tomorrow. I also want to encourage you to continue to live your dreams and aspire to greatness. Former First Lady Eleanor Roosevelt once said, the future belongs to those who believe in the beauty of their dreams. Just as you believe that one day you would arrive at this event and receive your degree, never stop believing in the opportunities that lie ahead in the future and never stop dreaming of a better tomorrow. The Cal Southern family opens its arms to you as the newest members of our growing group of alumni. May success follow you all the days of your lives, and today we salute you for a job well done. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, esteemed faculty, graduates, and distinguished guests, my name is Dr. Kristen Newberry, the chair of the School of Behavioral Sciences here at Cal Southern. It is with great honor and pride that I introduce our student speaker for the 2023 commencement ceremony, Dr. Kevin Cameron. He's a remarkable individual who stands as a shining example of dedication, service, and achievement. Dr. Cameron earned his doctorate in psychology from Cal Southern in 2022, demonstrating his strong commitment to the pursuit of knowledge. His journey, however, extends far beyond the realm of academia. As a military veteran with a distinguished career, Dr. Cameron's remarkable service to our country spans nearly 14 years. As a military working dog trainer, handler, and kennel master, he exemplified excellence in the United States Army, amassing a collection of commendations and awards that testify to his unwavering dedication. Dr. Cameron's military odyssey took him to the front lines of multiple combat deployments and international operations. His exceptional leadership qualities were evident as he developed and executed training programs crucial for the successful operations of various military police working dog facilities, both in the United States and abroad. Notably, Dr. Cameron served as the Afghanistan country manager for the Department of Defense's canine program, earning recognition for his adeptness in organizational management, strategic planning, and team development, and PTSD service dog training. Dr. Cameron's doctoral project titled Veteran Evolution, Reclassifying the Military and Veterans as Independent Cultures stands as a testament to his commitment and understanding of the complexities of military life and its impact on veterans. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in welcoming Dr. Kevin Cameron as California Southern University's graduating class speaker. Esteemed faculty, honored guests, proud families, and most crucially, the vanguard of tomorrow, today's graduates. Today is a day of celebration, a day of reflection, a day of profound significance. We gather here to commemorate not just the accumulation of years of hard work and dedication, but also mark the beginning of an exciting new chapter in all of our lives. We have set ourselves apart from the crowd and achieved many of our, what only others have dreamt of. We represent the embodiment of relentless determination and the relentless pursuit of knowledge. Each of us has chosen a unique path, one that speaks to our passions and our commitment to making a difference in the world. Whether you've been exploring the intricacies of the human mind, charting the court of business, striving for justice, nurturing future generations are tending to the health and well-being of individuals. We have dedicated countless hours to becoming experts in your chosen fields. The journey we have undertaken was never meant to be easy. The pursuit of advanced degrees in our respective disciplines demanded sacrifices, sleepless nights, moments of doubt, and the frustration of technology. 
To paraphrase Teddy Roosevelt, it's not the critic who counts, not the one who points out how the strong stumbles or where the doer of deeds could have done better. The credit belongs to the individual who is actually in the arena, whose face is marred by dust and blood, who strives valiantly, who errs, and comes up short because there is no success without error. But who knows great enthusiasms with great devotions, who spend themselves in a worthy cause, who at best knows that in the, in, in the end, the triumph of high achievement. Our past re required us to confront challenges head on, persist in the face of adversity, and to push the boundaries of our own capabilities. But look at us, sitting here, accomplished, ready to take on the world. In our time here at Cal Southern, we have not only honed our intellectual prowess, but we've also cultivated essential qualities that will serve us as we embark on our next adventure, the next evolution. We have learned the art of collaboration, the importance of empathy, the power of perseverance. We have uncovered the wisdom that comes from failure and discovered that success is a journey, not a destination. We understand that success can only be determined by defining an intent and by determining our own standards. But today is not just about recognizing your past achievements. It's about igniting the spark of hope for the future. The diversity of today's assembly is comprised of families, single parents, individuals with disabilities, veterans of military service. Just to name a few, each one of us stands as a beacon of hope, a testament to the limitless potential that resides within the human spirit. Our accomplishments thus far are a mere glimpse of what we can achieve in the days, months, and years ahead. You stand on the precipice of the future. And I want you to remember one thing. The degrees you hold in your hand are not just pieces of paper. They are a trophy forged in your unyielding determination. These are symbols of your potential to transform lives, organizations, and our communities. You have the capability to shape the world in both profound and meaningful ways. You are capable of greatness. But remember, greatness is not solely defined by our accomplishment. It is also measured by the impact we have on others. In the behavioral science, it's about understanding the human condition and helping individuals find their best selves. In business management, it's about leading with integrity and fostering innovation. Criminal justice is about championing equity and justice. In education, it's about nurturing young minds for the next generation. In nursing, it's about taking care of those in need. Regardless of your field, your actions and decisions have the power to inspire and uplift. As we leave this institution, you take with you not only the knowledge, but also the responsibility to use that knowledge for the betterment of our society. Your journey has equipped you with the tools to drive change, confront the challenges of our times, and to build a future for generations to come. But let me be clear. The path ahead will not always be smooth. No one can create change by following the crowd. There will be obstacles, setbacks, moments of uncertainty. And in these moments, I challenge you to remember the spirit of resilience that brought you here today. Remember the late nights, the research, the collaborations, the mentors who guided you, the friendships you forged, each of these experiences has prepared you to navigate the challenges that lie ahead. In closing, I want to leave you with this quote. Through passion, one gains strength. Through strength, one gains power. Through power, victory is achieved. Graduates, you have the power to shape your destiny, to rise above adversity, to make profound impact in this world. 
for we are the architects of tomorrow. I won't say good luck, I won't say goodbye. What I will say is welcome to the next evolution of your lives. So go forth from this place with confidence, determination, and a heart filled with pride and accomplishment. Embrace the unknown, continue to learn, and never lose sight of the potential to achieve greatness. The world may not be prepared for your greatness, but I have no doubt you will leave an indebitable mark on it. Congratulations, graduates. It's now my pleasure to introduce today's keynote speaker. Sherry Davis has an unusual background. She grew up in the 70s and was raised by two mothers in the Bronx. At age 17, she left New York and joined the United States Army. After serving as a combat medic, which affirmed her courage, Sherry took flight to South Dakota, completed college, and was commissioned as an active duty human resources officer. She is a sought after leader who survived deployment in three wars. Sherry is not just Sherry, she's really retired Lieutenant Colonel Sherry Davis. She built a 32 year global career navigating the military, the North Atlantic Treaty Organization, corporate giants like General Electric, and many nonprofit organizations. Sherry is president of Shift Forward Consulting a woman who has acquired a deep understanding of people and processes in a variety of situations and circumstances. On a personal note, Sherry loves her spouse, she loves golf, and she loves her Teal Towny bike. Please join me and give a warm welcome to Sherry Davis. Just so you know, it's not gonna be extremely serious, but it will be filled with reverence. Um, first, thank you, President Klein, and I appreciate that wonderful introduction. Um, and before getting down to business, there are a few acknowledgements that I'd like to make sure we do. After I thank Tim, I have to thank the faculty and staff and the person who was responsible for putting this little situation on me. Because when I graduated, I didn't have the opportunity to go to my ceremony. So this is me living vicariously through you. So thank you for that, I appreciate it. Now it's time to talk to you all. The production company doesn't know I'm gonna ask this, but is it possible just to turn the lights up a bit? Just a little, just a little, a little more. It's dark out there. <laughs> okay. I, you know, I love humanity, and I'm a firm believer you can't talk to anybody in the dark. You really gotta look at them. So that's what we're gonna do today. Now, you didn't think you were just gonna saunter in here, turn your tassel, grab a paper, and leave. You, you, you know. So a little bit more work. What I need you to do is just stand up if you can. Just stand up. Only the graduates. Only the graduates. Okay, graduates now, no, not yet. Graduates, turn around. And on the count of three. On the count of three, graduates, I want you to knock the windows off this terrace theater and thank those people who helped you get through. Thank them. Graduates. That was kind of weak, graduates. I can hear your family, I can't hear you. Hit it, graduates, thank them. Mm. All right, thank you, I appreciate that. Y'all can come on back into the fold now. <laughs> okay. Now it's time for us to get down to some business. The California Southern University 2023 graduating class, I, no, no, really, leave the lights up. Wait, what are you, what's happening? 
Just so you know, we have a relationship. So there are two people, Kelly and Sarah, losing their whole mind right now. So it's fun. Okay. Um, you all have already been on the world stage in many ways. But there are a couple of things I want to remind you of. And I want you to keep it in the perspective of where you are today. right? Because there's going to be very few things, very few new things that people can tell you. But the things that people tell you, the meaning changes based on the perspective and the context. So I ask you to take this journey with me. You are by far the most tech savvy, business smart, and socially conscious than any other graduating class before you of 2023. There is no doubting that. And that's great because this world has truly been waiting for your mind. It's fabulous that you got the paper, but the paper does nothing until you put it into action. So please remember that. You've gained the tools to exercise your privilege to step into this power that people have been talking about. And make no mistake, you have it. If you haven't discovered it yet, it'll start bubbling, and then you'll go, what is that? And you'll go, oh yeah, the power thing. And this is the power of a couple of things. It's the power of your courage. It's the power of your voice, and it's the power of perspective. When you step into your power perspective, I want you to be willing to step so close when you need to so you can get into the details. I mean like granularly close. Like if I had time to get off the stage, jump in front of somebody's face, I'd do this. Because sometimes it takes you getting that close to see everything, but it could also blind you. So then you have to remember to step back far enough so you can see the whole strategic picture. So you can put things into context and make good decisions, create great thoughts, and help not one, but many with one swift action. Then when you do that, I want you to step into your power of courage. And it's interesting, people always ask me to talk about bravery and courage and leadership. And I think those things are really inherent to people. They just have to figure out how to tap it out of themselves. So when you step into that power of courage, allow yourself to be transparent and vulnerable enough to remember it takes a village to do the great things that you're doing. So that person that's sitting to your left, to your right, behind you, in front of you, those folks who are still in the process of doing it, those folks who are thinking about doing it, those folks who've already done it, you need them. Don't forget that. Always hold on to your ability to navigate the world with this intense curiosity, because it took that to do what you did. Whether it was an associate's, a master's, or a doctorate, you had to have this intense curiosity to just learn a little bit more so you can be certified in the area that you've chosen. And then when you use that intense curiosity, it will help you keep the likes of people who are changing the world. You know how they always talk about these innovators and these really high tycoon magnets and the brave people all over the world? Well, you're in that situation now. You're part of that culture. But you can only stay there with intense curiosity. That's really what makes people grow. And then the third is, when you step into this power of our voice, did you notice how when I stood up, I said, hey, how you doing? Then I said, no, really, keep it up. And then I said, no, I can't really hear you. Do you see what I'm doing? It doesn't matter what you study. You have to understand how and when to use your voice in the most appropriate time to render the results you're looking for. So that means you have to move up and down. You have to move side to side. You have to be brave enough to jump and fall and stub your toe. I'm clumsy, I do that almost every night. And it's some serious stuff, it takes some work. It takes you tapping into you, okay? You don't stop tapping in just because you got the nice hat. Oh, is it called that? What is it called? What is this thing called? I don't. A TAM. A TAM. But the people behind the TAM people, what do y'all got? What, what do y'all have? 
Mortarboards. Somebody said hat? I'm with you, whoever said that. Mortarboard. It takes some real voice usage to get any of those headgears, is what we say in the service. And when you do that, anything is absolutely possible. Anything. Now, I've had many highlights in my professional career. It's always uncomfortable when somebody reads your bio. I always feel the need to go, who are they talking about? But clearly, I know who they're talking. They're talking about me. And they will be talking about you as well when it's your turn, I promise. And I want you to know that because through your journey, you're going to hear, see, and go through things. Me, one of the highlights of my career was when I was stationed in Iraq. I was a, was I a major? Yeah, I was a major at the time, and I was responsible for providing HR services to over 10,000 people who were in Iraq with us. Army, Navy, Air Force, Marine, the civilian folks, the contractors, make sure we took care of people's families back at home. And because we did such a good job, because I can't do anything by myself, and you will learn, the more you obtain, the less it's about you, that means your team continues to grow. So I had about 35 people working for me at the time, and they did a phenomenal job making sure we had all the people we needed. Our responsibility was to have at least 95% people in the organization. So in essence, make sure there were seats in the butt, butts in the seats, butts in the seats. Butts in the, is that, that, is that how that goes? Confirm, 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 okay. Butts in the seats, right? And they did a fantastic job. They actually did 97%. So the warrant officers, and how many people are, have, know anything about the service before I say it? Okay, the warrant officers think they know everything. You do not. But I'm scared of them, so I listen to them all the time. So the warrant officers thought it was a good idea, I see you, ma'am, thought it was a good idea for me to fly a combat helicopter. Now, y'all heard President Klein said I was an HR person. What HR person you know flies a helicopter? Just putting it out there. So here's the deal. It was terrifying, absolutely terrifying. I got into the cockpit. I thought, oh, yeah, this is cool. I had the little helmet. I had the little outfit. I was bad to the bone, jumped in. Chief jumped in on the other seat. He's like, let's go, ma'am. I'm like, let's go, until it was time to go. And then when it was time to go, I'm just looking at all of these buttons and flips and switches and going the only way out of this thing is through this little loop porthole here, if I mess up, and it was scary. But he said, you can do it, you're qualified, because you have courage, voice, and perspective. So we took off. He goes, okay, ma'am, let's go. I said, okay, so he said, push that button. I said, okay, so I pushed that button. He said, don't touch any other buttons, because anybody who knows me, if you let me touch one button, I'm touching all the buttons. And he said, nope, just that button. So I said, okay, got it. So I touched that button, and off we go. And we're doing this all over the place. And I did throw up in my mouth. It was disgusting, but I wasn't going to let him see it. So yes, I swallowed it, because you don't let the chief see you be weak, ever, ever. And it was gross. So we get up there. We're doing our thing. We're dipping all around. And he says, ma'am, go higher. So we take the aircraft higher. And I throw up again. It's like a lunch. I don't know what's going on. But here's the gig. He says, OK, it's time to come down. And he let me land it. Now imagine, it's your, and yeah, we landed safely. As an evidence, I'm here today, all of me. We landed safely. I didn't break nothing. Chief still claimed me. Life is good. Now imagine. Somebody tells you to get into a cockpit, a combat helicopter, and says, go. That's exactly what has happened here today. You have been in the world for quite some time. You are proven professionals in many places. But now you're getting ready to get into a helicopter because now much is expected from you in a very different way. I encourage you. Take the challenge. It is scary, but this is the deal. And I'm speaking from experience because I do it to my friends who have become doctors. I think y'all have all the answers. 
When I don't know something, I'm like, oh, hold on, let me call Dr. Lowe. She goes, Sherry, I don't know, call somebody else. But we think you know. So serve us well by finding the right thing, giving us your perspective, using your voice, and being courageous enough to say, I don't know when you don't. It's gonna be a phenomenal ride. Now I have another challenge for you. Are you uh, willing to accept it? If you are, I'm gonna give you a minute to think about it. If you're willing to accept it on the count of three, I want you to say, I accept the challenge. So think about it. I'm gonna give you 10 seconds. One, two, seven, eight, ten. Okay, we're there. On the count of three. One, two, three. Uh, uh, mm. It's a little sketchy. Try it again. One, but with like, like you're, you're happy. One, two, three. That's excellent. Okay, here we go. Here's your challenge. I want you to walk out of these doors today and I want you to move with intention. I want you to shift forward and I want you to elevate to action to find your place on the stage again. Because you're no longer standing where you once were before today. You have a new spot. Find it. Get comfortable. Stay curious. Use your voice. Don't forget to smile because life is not that serious. And enjoy yourself. Now I want you to go on out of here. I want you to knock the cover off the ball and have a beautiful life. Congratulations, job well done. <laughs> well, thank you, Sherry. So this is the third uh, graduation ceremony of the system so far this year, and Sherry also spoke uh, to our graduates at, at AIU in Atlanta uh, back in July, I think that was. And um, anyway, we, we, uh, we are very comfortable with each other. She has a great message, and I remember her taking a selfie in Atlanta, so I wanted to make sure she had that opportunity again here, here this morning, but um, thank you again, Sherry. So at, at this time, I'd like to take a few moments to recognize our graduates that have dedicated themselves to serving our country as members of the United States Armed Forces. Uh, Cal, Cal Southern is extremely proud of this distinctive group of graduates, and in recognition of your military service, to the United States, Cal Southern University presents graduates with a red, white, and blue cord you see them wearing today. The Americana military cord represents the American flag and serves as a way to distinguish and recognize military and veteran graduates for their services. Graduates who have served or, and are, I'm sorry, graduates who have served and who are currently serving, please stand to be recognized. Thank you for your service and your sacrifices. At, 
I think I'm taller. I think I am taller than I really am. Um, at this time, I would like to recognize the students who have earned academic achievement honors. Bachelor's degree candidates, will those who have earned honors please stand and be recognized? Congratulations on your achievement. Please be seated. Master's degree candidates, will those who have earned honors please stand and be recognized? Congratulations on your achievement. Please be seated. Doctoral degree candidates, Will those who have earned honors please stand and be recognized? Congratulations on your achievement. Please be seated. Finally, will all graduates who have earned the honor of summa cum laude with a perfect 4.0 GPA. Please stand and be recognized. Congratulations on your achievement. Please be seated. As the Vice Provost, on behalf of the faculty body, I present these graduates. They have fulfilled the requirements of their respective degrees and are deemed by the faculty to be worthy of recognition as graduates of California Southern University. We will start by recognizing our doctoral degree candidates, then move on to the masters, and then to the bachelor's degree candidates. We appreciate everybody's patience as each graduate and their guests await this momentous occasion. Doctoral candidates, please rise and make your way to the theater wings as you prepare to walk the stage and be recognized for the pinnacle of achievement in your academic careers. Joining me on stage to present the graduates with their recognition are our school deans and chairs, Dr. Melissa Noya and Dr. Kristen Newberry for the School of Behavioral Sciences. Then we will have Dr. Teresa Crozier and Dr. Mark Young for the School of Business and Management. Assisting the deans today with their doctoral learners will be the full-time faculty of the Schools of Behavioral Sciences and Business and Management. We also have Ms. Eva Thorpe for the School of Criminology and Criminal Justice, Dr. Heidi Lynn Smith for the School of Education, and Dr. Stephanie Yackel for the School of Nursing. Historically, Scholars in higher education wore robes as a daily uniform. They wore hoods with these robes for warmth. Over time, the size, shape, and the lining of the hood came to signify a scholar's academic rank. The ceremonial hooding became a tradition that continues to this day. The hooding ceremony constitutes a special recognition for the doctoral degree candidates, during which a member of the faculty places the doctoral hood over the head of the graduate, signifying his or her success in completing the doctoral program. Are we ready? All right, the doctoral candidates.
now presenting Doctor of Psychology degree candidates, Kevin Cameron, William Rahimboss Morrison the third, the fourth. Jeanette Marie Smith Perron. Charles Ray Epps II. Paul Chang <laughs> Po Ching Jr. Michael Ginsberg. Anup Anupama V. Maruvada. Diane Sarah Vargas, Doctor of Psychology. <laughs> Lindsay Adams. Bradley Blazik. <laughs> Melani Gladness. <laughs> Hannah Serene Siller. Rivka A. Edry. Dana Diane McNeil. Deborah K. Barker. Nicole Kayla Osborne. Christy Cubit, Josephine Avila, Shima Rutungwegwa Claude, Cecily Lynn Remy. Denise McPhee. Monica Zelaya. <laughs> Madison Ellen Moore. Nishma Ramos Gonzalez. Eponwosa Christopher Odebe. Karen Elizabeth Mayberry. Carmen R. Thomas. Abby Ordun Ugunlana. Geronda Lavette Golston. Mary Leslie Groves Rossi. Abdul Gafori. <laughs> S 
Sydney Lay Walsh. Noreen Callwood Lewis. Jenna Nicole Chagoya Cadena. Nigel Lewis. Nicole Blatney. Shannon Callen Colon. Julia Rasbuhina. Andrea Joy Rosencrantz. <laughs> Alfredo Martinez Huerta. Don Marie R. Holder. Jeremiah Warren Barber. Adriana L. Andrade. Benjamin Vasil Toma. Natalie Dina Bressman. Robin P. McCall. Brent McIntosh. Susan K. Baron Eaton. Amber Shaw. Dora Mejia. Brooke Elizabeth Lyons. Lynn Francis Burns. Sheena Brooke Baker. Marianne Quinn. <laughs> Madonna Martinez. <laughs> Phyllis Hodgins Montavon. Brenda J. Holfers. Dillies Liu. Fareshte Nase. Edward Carter. Simon Mark Tento Sakata Erica Ray Kip R. Lusby Justina 
Mills. Terry Cash Heptonstall. Elia Pimentel Sendejas. Melody Marie Munoz. Jag Dish Persad. Cassandra Garza Juarez. David Joseph Neville. Neville. Tina R. Saunders. Ayana L. Harrison. Hind Swapping Pool. Curtis J. Clark. Daniel Thomas Craney. Naika Tamara Drake Utenham. Maravik B. Monte. Sybil Rachel Schaefer. Denise E. Parker. Jason Eric Winkler. Valini Pundit. Devin L. Patterson. Kyle L. Dudley Sr. Ang Hung Vo. Teddy Greb Medhim. Priyanka Mohan. Mary Catherine Nyaponsky. Emily Ann C. Mouser. Catherine Barnett. Rochelle Donnie. April Marie Staples. Julie E. Ataya. Reagan Nichelle Boyd. Dewan Everett Bennett Jr. Scott O. Barnum. Ashley Osborne Catterberg.
Tess M. DePro. Rodney L. Davis, Jr. Kimberly Elizabeth Moyer. Mongshu Fong. Jessica Elizabeth Jubilado. Dimas Moncada. Now presenting Doctor of Business Administration degree candidates. Zachary Russell Bechtel. Brenda Diane Fitzgerald. Adrian Bren. Angela Pruitt Rosenquist. Parvez Rahman. Dennis Burke. Durga Madri Rahu. Fowood Gebhart, the third. Ahmad El Khatib. AJ Pazaya Till. Samuel Alexander Johnson Jr. Heather Lynn Dartetz. Carlton D. McMeans. Valdir Felipe. Rihanna Yuri Johnson. Now presenting master's degree candidates. Stephanie Van Dyken. Daisy Lynn Tudela Demapon. Ina Olegovna. William James Eaton. Ina Olegovna Govorov. Saquon Vernon. Francisco Bedoya. Madison Marie Bull. Bettina Crizel Tamiliar Marco. Jose Cervantes. Tracy Ann Richardson. Andrew Lois. Luis Silva. Diana Tapia. Colette Princess Adolph. 
Sitali Madison Hyde. Natando Gonyama. Mava Bakuri. Courtney Clark Bell. Ashley K. Moody. Danette Krishna McCallman. Soraya Blake, Vargas Blake. Caesar Martinez. Tish Alana Crawford. Todd Norman Sorkage Helm. Ryan Camarena. Ernest Eugene Copeland. Shirley Ann Morris Lee. Julia Del Pilar Bowen. James S. Kennedy. Mary Kate Murray. Now presenting baccalaureate degree candidates. Nikisa Ray, Ray Edge. Flor de Maria Amaya Ortiz. Dina Reyes. Pepper Carlson Humphrey. Nikura Obasi. Congratulations to the class of 2023. Now for the conferral of the degrees. Dr. Jay Raman, on behalf of California Southern University faculty, and the academic leadership, I present the candidates for all degree levels. Pending the completion of all requirements and verification of all official documents, the individuals presented to you have been recommended to receive their degrees by the faculty and administration of California Southern University. Will all the degree candidates please stand? <laughs> Upon the recommendation of the faculty and by the authority vested in me by the governing board and all of the rights, credence, and privileges thereto pertaining, it is my pleasure to confer upon you the degree that you have earned. Masters and doctoral candidates, while you may remain standing, we ask that our undergraduate candidates join you in the time-honored tradition of moving the tassels as you did with your undergraduate degree from the right to the left side of your cap. So undergraduate candidates, you may now move your tassel from the right to the left side of your cap. Congratulations to all of our graduates.
you are now, you are now officially the class of 2023. Congratulations. You may now be seated. All right, just a few uh, closing comments and you can all uh, get on out of here and have a great day. But one thing that struck me as I was watching the graduates uh, come across the stage is the number of you that have taken it uh, on an educational level and now probably to the next level with interacting with people and helping them, whether it's through the, the degrees in uh, psychology you've earned. I saw one undergrad nursing student uh, on our program today, but so many of you have chosen to help others and I just wanna applaud you for that, so thank you. All of us, all of us at Cal Southern are proud to have been part of your educational journey. And it's important to remember that although you may have just reached your first or maybe your last educational milestone, your relationship with Cal Southern can continue to support you in your future endeavors. We have a growing alumni community and we invite you to participate in our association to help support your fellow alumni, current students, and your community. Now before we leave, just a couple of points. We ask that all of you in the audience remain seated until the faculty and graduates have exited. Guests and families, you will be able to meet your graduates outside in the plaza area by the fountain. And please feel free to take pictures and preserve the moment and hang out for a while. Lastly, thanks to everyone in the light blue shirts that have traveled from all over the country They get goosebumps just like I do, but thank you for all the hard work this staff has done. And this concludes the 2023 California Southern Commencement Ceremony. Congratulations. <laughs>